Okay, what is happening guys and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband. But this time Kiko uh, Kujo mod. Uh, this mod takes place in um, Japan, obviously. Hello Mr. Guildmaster, how are you? So yeah, and today, usually when you first start off this mod, well, you have to do the tutorial, do the mission and all that. But instead, I have started my own little uh, faction. As you can see, we're in Sakai right now. And look at how big this map is. I think there's a total of eight, ten factions. And uh, I'm right in the middle of Japan here, so this is going to be quite the adventure, if I do say so myself. But um, I, I used to play Giko Kujo um, when it first came out, um, but it's received quite a lot of updates. And uh, recently I just updated to the recent uh, versions. So as you can see, we're down in Sakai and we have named ourselves the Brotherhood of some Poppies. Hell yeah. It's like, a, yeah, it's a mixture of between the Japanese and I guess the Mexicans the poppies anyways um but usually you would just start out you would just start out in you like in a random city while well, it wouldn't be random you would pick and you would just start off very slowly but instead I wanted to start off this uh, let's play playthrough whatever with a nice little uh, bearing um, usually in, well, we're the Reds here, but this was, used to be, a uh, Miyoshi's, uh, land, I guess, but we have wiped them out. We can actually go to factions, uh, the, yeah, the Miyoshi clan, and this is the very first clan that's been defeated. I have conquered you, and I've captured all your bitches. Now they are mine, but um, yeah, I just wanted to have like a nice little, uh, uh, what's the word, some s support or just a nice little bearing. So when I first started off, I wouldn't get my ass kicked. Okay, so today we only have two uh, vassals with us. Nobody wants to join us for some reason, so I just got my companions here to um, be our vassals for us. This is our staff members. We've got our treasurer. Um, this is our, this is our uh, advisor, I guess. Our army inspector and administrator. But we're gonna go out and pick a fight. With who? I don't know. Who shall we, uh, nag? Who are you right here? Lord Yo Songs. A lot of these names I won't be able to pronounce. Maybe I'm not even pronouncing the name of the mod right. Giko, Giko Kujo, maybe. I don't know. Um, but I will show you some of the options I have right now. Um, our difficulty is 33%. And just with this alone, <laughs> the AI is pretty tough. Even on poor, it can be kind of challenging, but we have it up to advanced. I don't want to make everything like crazy so I get my ass kicked. Um, but yes, this is what I'm rolling with right now. Maybe it'll change in the future. But we have, who are you? Yukuda. We are friends with them. But if we go to the Brotherhood of some Popeyes, who are we at war with? I know we're at war with a couple people right now, I think. Uh, we are at war with the Eco Kiki. Hmm. Those are like the monks, I guess. Uh, uh, the Asakira clan. I have meant to be friends with these guys. Like, I was going to join their side, but things happened and yeah now we formed the brotherhood of some poppies 
the Manco, the Mori, and the Date. So we have a lot of people to um, pick fights with. Right over here we have the Asakiras. Which I think we'll take over those guys. We're kind of friends with the uh, Yukita clan. So I'm just going to run over here. Who are you? Uh, one of my recruiters. And he's heading over to Kyoto, I believe. With the army inspectors, we can um, send out people to recruit from different villages and bring them to a certain place. And yeah. But they only have like a castle and two towns. Um, let's head over here. We have a we have a campaign going on right now. What the hell, you son of a bitch! You have messed with the wrong person. I will destroy you. Okay. Um, that's actually just right over here. Recruiter, please go go into Kyoto, where somebody. Messing with you. Okay, he's good. Okay, what's going on over here? Oh, hi, buddy. Mako. What do you have? You have a lot of villagers with you. We should be pretty fine. Right now, we are level 27. And th I believe this is day 200 and something. 207. Um, statistics, actually. No. Wow, I killed a lot of troops. Huh. Anyways, this is what we uh, what we look like. This is my stats and all that, just in case you guys were wondering. But, I'm going to chase these guys away from the town. Because I don't want the villagers involved. And I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> Who the hell are you? I am Sarah, sir. Sarah's not really a Japanese name, but... Um, Let's just pretend she's from, like, Canada, and she's, I don't know, just in Japan to get away from things. Um, I don't want to make peace with you. You're raiding my place. Surrender or die, bitch. You whelp. Mm-hmm. You calling me a whelp? All right. Well, 128 versus 116. Let's lead our troops. Let's kick some ass. Okay, so we have the battle size to max, basically, 150. Oh, they're right here. Holy crap. Archers, to this point. You guys, over here. I'm going to whip out my metal baseball bat and hit some bitches. There you are. I can take out their commander. There we go. This horse too, why the hell not? Bam. I might have to mess around with some settings. I've been trying to record with 6 FPS because that's a thing now for YouTube. Actually, we're gonna get the infantry to charge. Calvary charge. That's a lot of green on the screen. That's what I like to see. Wait. Mr. Archer, not today. Stab. You are best with the wrong land. I was sure you had it. Alright. Son of a bitch. Have we even lost a person? I don't think so. They're getting just destroyed out here in this battlefield. Get out of here. So yeah, I've been trying to record with 60 FPS. Um, the battle size is pretty huge. I have my ma like the max setting is on right now. But, but it's, it's going to be kind of harder to render out and upload if we're going to be doing the 60 FPS thing, which would be really cool. It would be my first 60 FPS video. No one. The 60 FPS thing was it like first came out, everybody went like batshit crazy. They're like, oh my god, there's a new generation of videos. 
What? Oh my god, I clicked out of the stupid game. And we won. Um, wow. We only lost one person. But I think, ah, he managed to escape. I hit him in the face with a baseball bat. Should have, like, broke his jaw or something. But this is our clan right now. Or not clan, but, uh, you know, you know what I mean. Our army with us. Just gonna upgrade a couple of these people. Um, do we want a couple prisoners? Is there anybody worthwhile? I guess you. Skirmishers. Me. Samurai. I'll take you. Let's see what they got. I'll take some of this for some selling. Even though we are our very own clan and we do have a lot of money with us. Okay, I think there was another village that was under attack. I might be wrong though. With only three vassals, including myself, it's going to be kind of hard controlling this whole area. Um, when you have like five clans coming after your ass, it's gonna be crazy. And this is actually a neat feature I'll show you here. Um, foraging is now a skill. Um, I don't know, I think this was a part of Giko Kujo. Or maybe, maybe it was like an update to Warband, but uh, the further, the, the more skills into foraging the more chances of you coming across food randomly out in the field you son of a bitch 67 67 this is th I'm not even at my capacity for my army and I'll still destroy you Lord Shima we meet again Sarachan <laughs> alright you are going to surrender or die and I have no choice but to oblige you. You are going to get destroyed. I think we're just going to charge him. Obviously, we're not going to have our archers go straight in. And have them sit back. But there is a river. There is a river here. So. Oh, they're right here. Wonderful. Archers, go. Here. I'm gonna hit this bitch in the face. Um, let's see. I must find the leader. I'll hit you in the face. I think this is him. Eh. Lord Shima, yes. But we are being kind of destroyed here. We must have a lower quantity of troops for the. There's troop like training or ranks must be pretty good for half decent. So we're gonna take down most of my men. Not most, but uh, a good majority. Not a good majority, but whatever. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, alright. We have a couple stragglers over here. Let's get him, man! Stab. It's nice because with this uh, metal baseball bat thing that I have, it doesn't kill the person and knocks them unconscious, and it's really good for uh, just going straight for the leader. It basically makes their army scramble and do whatever. Nobody leaves the battlefield! We kill them all! Wow. Yeah, we lost. Well, we got a couple people wounded there. I hit you in the face with the baseball bat, man. How the hell are you guys getting away? One of my companions to upgrade too. There's a lot of cool features with this uh, Giko Kujo mod. I'll uh, show you in and show you guys in a second. Basically, um, where are they? There is, should be an experienced, experienced agent somewhere around here. Let's 
Come on. Ah, here they are. I have five. So basically, when you storm a, uh, a city, you have the option to batter down the gates. But instead, with these agents, they can sneak in and open up the gates for you. Um, I believe it decreases, like, it catches their army off guard. So there's, like, let's say there's 150 people in the city that you have to kill to take over. I think, like, if the agents, like, s like sneak in and all that and do their thing, I think it reduces, like, the amount of people that you have to kill. I might not be on, like, it's, that might be, uh, what do you want to call it? Not the right thing, but, uh, I don't know. It just, with most, like, these cities that had taken over, like, there was, a, like, a high number of people that I had to kill, and it didn't, it just didn't match up with the people that I killed and wounded. Like the ad, like the numbers didn't add up. Like there was a hundred people that were just, I don't know. They just didn't appear. But I did send my agents in to do things. And yeah, there's a uh, Asakiras. This one has a hundred ninety-three. They do have sixty village. No, they have a hundred and eleven villagers in here so they basically only have like 400 <laughs> worthwhile uh, troops that's a lot of spearmen skirmishers but that is a lot of villagers and this could be very easy to take over and I can't see that is a very bad spot for my uh, meter my FPS meter um, but I think we can hold up to like 160 or 180 troops. Um, so yeah, Tuso, Tusu, you are my next target. Because those Asakiras, man, they are not a friendly bunch. I just wanted to help them out. But uh, yeah, things just didn't go our way. And with the rebels here, they're actually friends with us, so they won't be attacking us or my vassals, I believe, which is very, very nice. Um, so yeah, I have the upper hand there. Um, let's recruit these uh, samurai. They're pretty good. They can be upgraded up to Hatamoto troops. So then we're gonna head over here to Os Osaka because we can get a fair number of people. 15, and that's skirmishers too, so less uh, less training for them. It's always nice. I think that's 100, 180 something. I can barely make out the 8. That's a very bad spot for my. Uh, meter and it's not like a, a fraps meter where it's just the number I'm using a Merlis action and uh, Yeah, it's, uh, it's it's quite a big bar and we just lost one of the samurais that we've just gained We've got a couple of a Couple towns under uh, raiding What oh these are Asakiras I'll take him. He'll make our morale a little poopy, but um, frick. All right, let's just head over here because this motherfuckers, stop raiding my places, please. There's two, there's two clans like fighting over this one place. Like seriously, you sons of bitches. I'm gonna take you all out. Get over here. Amanko is uh, the. Yeah, he did join his side. The bastard! I was gonna say. 194 versus their 81. Sure, let's do this. 
I'll show you the wrath of the Brotherhood to stop poppies. Bah. Alright. Crap. Okay. Archers, you're going to go right here. Whoops. Wrong button. Our uh, infantry goes right there. We got a couple of mounted retainers. Oh, there goes the leader. Other one. <laughs> oh, wow. I love this baseball bat thing. Like, look at this. So freaking deadly. Like, come out at full speed. Put this upside the head, that like totally bash your brains in. But yet it only like knocks them unconscious. It's kind of crazy. Got a freaking gunner back here. You're dead. But I believe after this fight here, I'm gonna pause the recording. See how everything is holding up frame uh, frame wise, audio wise, because I had to do quite a lot of testing to um beforehand. I'm gonna send everybody to charge. Are just gonna move up a little bit more. You guys are being butts. Stop poking me with your sticks, man. What is going on over here? Got a runner. Got a runner, I see. I'll help you with that. Oh, no. There we go. Get back to the main battle, you fools. Alright, stick. Oh no. Reinforcements. Yeah, you better run. Feels like oh shit, man. Got a couple experienced agents. Uh are those agents or just like experience or break help. I think the experienced agents look like bandits, so... Take out the samurai. Oh no! Bad! Alright. You, my good sir, are going down. Villager! You get back here, you son of a bitch. As there's like a thousand arrows like flying past us. You're dead. Where's the other buddy? Oh, we win. Awesome. Yeah, we only had three people wounded. That was pretty good. You're my bitch now. And the general managed to escape. The bastard. But I will take these guys. Ooh, a mounted retainer. I'll definitely take some of that. Take some of this too and sell you guys. Um, hard warrior. Hell yeah. I'll take all of this. Okay, let's upgrade our guys, shall we? Experience agent, hell yes. Alright. Um, hard warrior. Please. Still need to upgrade her. All right, we are very low on the good old food. So I'm gonna take some of this, go to town. Yeah, let's head over to Kyoto. All right, for like owning the towns, oops, well there was only two more left. But uh, for owning the towns, you should like get a deal. That'd be cool. Like, hey. Pay half price. You can have my rice. And all that. I. No. Shit. I'll take. Ugh. God damn it. Okay. So I want this. And let's head over to the inn. See if a slaver is here. Nope. Okay guys, so I'm going to stop the recording, see how, uh, how the FPS is holding up. Uh, I 
I've been wanting the music up because the music in this game is really good and either way if it marks my video down for copyright eh, there we go oh my god but when I turn it off it's like oh my god hi I'm here don't know why I wasn't working earlier but uh yeah I just want to see if there's any audio issues issues yet more like speech issues but um yeah I just want to see if there's any FPS issues any audio is issues and so forth so I'll be right back and always if you guys want feel free to leave some feedback because I noticed quite a lot of people are playing Mount Blade Warband now on Steam and are you a big fan of the game are you a big fan of the mod tell me what you think uh, but with that said guys I'll be right back 